Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 45. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class S European Tour. We're going to be taking the Mercedes SLS for this event. Starting off with Hockenheim Ring, then Circuit de Catalunya, Silverstone, Mugello, and then finishing off with Le Mans... Old Mulsane circuit. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Oh, look at that interior. Such a lovely interior. Look, the active arrow, it works. Whoa, what is the Koenigsegg doing there? Oh, that's actually a good shout. There's a Koenigsegg in this race. But I believe the performance metrics, uh, like the performance index and everything, is actually pretty well fixed in this game. So, this S-Class Mercedes should be equivalent to that Koenigsegg. We are speedy. Oh, a little bit wide there. Preferably keep it on the track. Not bad. Looking good so far. A little bit of a drift around that corner. Not bad. Way. This car is so nice. I'd love to own one of these. This was the era when Mercedes actually made awesome cars. 
recently, Mercedes cars just look absolutely horrific. And the interiors are ugly. I don't know who's designing them, but Mercedes interiors are terrible. On so many levels. They're just awful. This car will easily hit <coughs> 120, one, uh, 220 on the Mulsane straight when we do it. There's no way it can't. It's a quick car. Completely missed my breaking point because I was trying to sort out my microphone. Come on. There we go. bit better. Just had to clear my voice. It felt like something was bugging the back of my throat, so. Way. So we got one. Oh my gosh! We got one more lap. My, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my voice today. It's completely screwed. Bad. not on the track. I'm not on the track anymore. I think there's an issue. Uh, YouTube hasn't sent out any notifications. Let's figure out what's going wrong. Good first race there. I'll take my rewards. And we shall move on. Here we go, race number two. Oh yeah, so uh, Zeno. First of all, welcome to the street. Welcome, welcome to the shit show. Second of all, I, I, I'm in the market for a rock band guitar and a drum kit. So I'm currently looking at an eBay listing now. I am hoping. Oh my gosh, look at the damage on the back of the car. Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. I'm hoping I can win without spending any more than 100 quid on it. I basically sold my old phone. So I've sold my old phone and I'm spending that money on getting a rock band, drum kit, guitar, and all that stuff. 
because I love Rock Band. Actually, I've never played Rock Band, so. I have played Guitar Hero, and I played a lot of Guitar Hero, so. I really want to see what Rock Band's like. Because a lot of people say it's better than Guitar Hero, so. I shall be the judge of that. <laughs> yeah, the SLS is much pog. And as well, it might turn up before the uh, subathon stream, which means I could do some rock band during the subathon stream. So, hmm. It'll get demonetized like shit, but oh well. Also, yes, that is the mech, the new mech what emote. So cool. I love it. There we go. Uh, to be honest, the gifted memberships, there's no way you can actually choose who to gift it to. YouTube will, will only let you gift to random people. Um, which I think is cooler, because then you don't decide. There's no winners, losers, or whatnot. There's, it's just whatever happens, whatever YouTube picks. But it is a bit annoying because I can't then give directly to one person. Say, for example, they win, like, I don't know. They win a giveaway for a channel membership or something. I don't know. I can't do that. So. I am thinking of giving away some channel memberships during the subathon stream. But I don't know how I'm going to do it. Genuinely don't know how I'm gonna do it. Just figure it out then, innit, bruv? That's the issue. Genuinely, when I did like subathons over on Twitch, they were planned two, three weeks in advance. And until I had all the details fully figured out, I didn't announce it. There was one subathon I did, right, that was unplanned, completely unplanned. And the timer started at 24 hours and it ended up going for 73 hours total. So if we can beat the live stream length, that would be awesome. If we can beat and make a longer live stream. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. 73 hours. Because I had one guy come in and he was just like, right, here you go. 10,000 bits. And I was like, oh. 10,000 bits on the calculator was like an extra 36 hours. So it ended up being close. And then we got like equivalent to about 12 hours of extra stuff as well. It was a good, it was a good payday for that stream, hundred percent. To be, f I've done all the numbers, right? And if if everyone, because the only way you can do it for this stream, I'm still trying to figure out if I can do like three ways that people can add time. Um, I don't know whether I could do like like goals if we get like. I don't know, a certain amount of likes in an hour. I add an extra 30 minutes. I don't know. I could also do something with stream elements as well, uh, stream avatars.
Like maybe something with the battle royale. Who knows? brainstorm for three hours at 4 a.m. in the morning you got this I I am thinking maybe like for uh, see I gotta work out the numbers for this because I think for a thousand credits could be all right but then the amount of credits that certain people will earn I don't I don't want the free time to uh, I know it's gonna sound a bit arsy and whatnot I don't want the free time to be like a ridiculous amount because otherwise it's just an insane amount of time added on for streaming especially if I'm doing it via stream avatars which isn't much in terms of like channel growth if that makes sense like it's, it's there for interactivity but it's not channel growth wise so I'm thinking more along the lines of like like goals. I, th I think the like goals would be the better option. Just because it, d it really does help with channel growth, obviously. Because liking a stream does wonders for it. View goals, we could do that. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. But I, I've, I've got a couple of things planned. I have um, where during the uh, subathon, or the memberathon, as it's called, because it's for channel memberships, um, I have where during it, I'm going to be doing. Fallout 4 and I'm going to start a brand new playthrough I'm going to set it on a hard difficulty and the aim of the game is to not die <laughs> basically so every time I die I take a shot every time no questions asked I will take a shot every time I die I want a rock band guitar slots 200 is he now gonna win? Is he gonna win? Is he not? By the way, you could have spent that money on getting a uh, another. What the hell are you doing? You could have spent those credits on getting another battle royale, and then if you won, you could have got a free car. You got 300 from the slots anyways. Honestly, the chances of you winning... Oh yeah, the Battle Royale's rigged. I don't know why, but I keep winning it and it's really fun. The, uh... What's it called? The slots, though, on the other hand... Uh, the chances of you winning that is unbelievably high now. Fight, fight, fight. Bit of fucking win. It's not looking good. Oh, 
Wait, what the fuck's going on? What the f Absolutely zero medkits got picked up then. What the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah. Freaked as hell. I'll run another one, see what happens. You owe me compensation tax. Unbelievable. How about I run another battle royale instead? That should be good enough compensation. Ah, <laughs> uh, clueless. Perhaps scallionous behavior. That behavior will not be tolerated. Zeno one W But what did Zeno win? Mm. I'm the bad guy. Uh. Thou debt hath been repaid. got the LaFerrari! Way! Pog champ. I got actually, um, the worst of the big three. <laughs> well, you've only got the 918 to get now, so. By the way, Zeno, you need to make sure you're there for the member -thon stream. Uh, there's going to be an ex... I don't know if you already know, but uh, there's going to be an exclusive car only available during the member -thon. You can claim it as soon as you join chat, but it'll only be available for you to claim while the member -thon is on. Uh, it's the 22nd of September, so this Friday coming up. Yo, Heinz, what up? Welcome. How are you today? And the car in question is gonna be, drum roll, drum roll, the GT by Citroen. Literally one of my favorite cars in Gran Turismo is the GT by Citroen. And uh, that is gonna be the car that you can unlock. Technically speaking, it's already on the, uh, the stream avatar system. Hoping for an SL65 Black Series. I mean, that can become a car in the future as well. But uh, the actual exclusive car is the um, is going to be this GT by Citroen. Because I love that car, and it's sick. You have 1,129 credits now, Heinz. Madness. Be waiting on auto show for the car. Hopefully it gets approved and I get working car. Hopefully your car ends up working. Ha! 
Damn, man, you are broke. Get the tunes up, mate! Is it not loud enough? Is, is, is that the issue? Does the tunes need to get turned up? That's a bit too loud. There you go. Whee! Tunes, bruv. Tunes, bruv. Ah! Heinz, did you just lose all your money? You know the chance of you losing it all is 15%, right? The chance of you to lose all your credits is 15%. Which means you were lucky to be unlucky. Which is extra unlucky. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, we got 120 grand bonus credits. Lovely jubbly. What right. What right, oits, lad? Let's do this. Neither of us won. Lovely. <laughs> I lost a thousand and Zena lost fifty. Oy. That's not what it rolled on. Maybe the animation is broken. But, uh, yeah. I got zero. I got green. Dean Sugar! Wait! Skip! About to watch Max copy Alonso at Singapore from 2008. <laughs> oh my gosh. How are you doing, Spring? Hopefully, you're having a good day. Welcome. Why is Heinz and Zeno both the P1 now? <laughs> P1 gang. You know, MCC is 75% off Steam, by the way. Ooh. If I was into Halo, that would be sick. But Halo's not my thing. Neither is driving in on the track, apparently. Yeah? GTA 5 is technically 10 years old now. Which is absolutely fucking mind-blowing. I can't believe that. Absolutely ri ridiculous that that game's 10 years old. And we still don't have GTA 6.
The fact that it still has a player base is insane. The fact that GTA itself has a player base, not even just console player base, just has a player base, blows my mind. Like, obviously, people that play the single player and come back to the single player story, yeah, fair enough. But people that still actively go and play online on GTA is fucking baffles me. It's Minecraft, but illegal, basically. I still can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think multiplayer gaming has ruined the gaming industry, which really sucks to say. Because sometimes multiplayer gaming can be such a fun experience. But multiplayer has ruined the gaming industry. Like, you even look at Gran Turismo, for example. You look at Gran Turismo 4, a game that barely had multiplayer built into it. It was mostly just two-player split-screen. And I, I don't see two-player split-screen as multiplayer because it's... Two-player split-screen is very difficult to make a multiplayer experience out of. As opposed to just a bare-bones just playing the game, but there's two people on the screen. Co-op multiplayer, I think, is great. I think it's amazing because of the fact it adds to video games and it requires a single-player experience to go alongside it. You look at F1, for example. The actual co-op mode is just the single-player mode, but you have an extra driver in it. And it's exactly the same with a lot of other... Far Cry, for example, has one of the best multiplayers because it's co-op. It's the entire game, but you have an extra person with you playing. Ghost Recon has an amazing multiplayer because again, it is co-op. Co-op is one of the best multiplayer aspects because you play through a game, but you have people to mess about with still. Minecraft as well, I'll say it has a great multiplayer because it is co-op. It's a cooperative game mode competitive multiplayer ruins the entire experience and ruins gaming because you can't have the single player competitive aspect translate over to multiplayer it has to be different but then when they focus on that and then use a multiplayer style competitive nature in single player games it ruins it and all games are doing it, and a hundred percent. Like you look at games like GTA as well. GTA Online basically ruined GTA's reputation for me. Completely ruined it. But they got money out of it, so it doesn't matter to them. Did 
do, do. I'm still in shock, right? I, I know this is a complete tangent, but I don't care. I'm still in shock at how easy it was when I built my PC and rebuilt it and swapped the motherboard out. Because I was expecting, because of the fact the motherboard was completely different, that the BIOS and everything and all the devices would have to be completely reconfigured. Which, for someone who's never used PCs before and has seen, like, BIOS settings and whatnot, never built one, that kind of expectation isn't completely wild. Like, the expectation that, oh yeah, this thing should, you know, somewhat require a lot of setup. Yeah, that's not completely nuts. But, <laughs> that's not what happened. And I kid you not, it, it was like one of the not easiest things to do, because obviously you had to rebuild a fucking PC. But it was almost like plug and play. It was like, pull the thing out, put it back in, and it worked flawlessly. I was like, what? Absolutely nuts. I could have won the rock and drum kit, and I didn't. Internal depression, that's what that is. Anyways, let's do two laps of Le Mans, because that's totally going to make me happy. I still can't believe they used the Bugatti circuit of um, Le Mans for the actual Gran Turismo movie, which is kind of funny. They definitely didn't use the full Le Mans circuit, so a little bit confused. Got it. Bloody hell, this thing's quick. Look at that. Oh, and it doesn't have the corners. Flat out. Way. Come on, we can get 220. Come on, come on, come on! No! We didn't get 220. Gutted. Not bad. Damn. 
This thing's doing really well around this track, actually. You, 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 you need you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Been a lot of your times in hot pursuit since I'm playing through it again. Honestly, most of my times were shit anyway, so. <laughs> Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was like, is a game that I enjoy, but I wasn't very. To be fair, I'm not very good at games in general, so. Except Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero, I was fucking goated. I was amazing at Guitar Hero. Everything else was shit. So. Come on, let's see if we can get 220 this time. Two twenty, way. Oh, I got the perfect breaking point as well. That was so good. That was the cleanest I've ever gone through that on this track. That was so clean. I love that. That was beautiful. And then this next corner is going to be a mess because I can never get it right. Not this one. This one's easy as fuck. It's this section now. No! Cool. See what I mean? Always fuck it up. go not bad I will take that and that is a good result so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and I will see you in the next one peace out